Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We're looking at a beautiful day today. Another one, 80 to 82. Sunshine, gorgeous night at Dublin Deck. We are very excited about that. Yeah, and anyone vacationing this week around this area, you lucked out. Yeah, you got great, great weather. Absolutely gorgeous, without a doubt. And uh, a capital G, no doubt. Uh, Yeah, we've got Dublin Deck AARP tonight with us. They're giving away Dublin Deck gift certificates. Uh, We've got T-shirts, concert tickets, a lot of fun. Southbound performs. Weather's great. And last week was a rain out. I expect a big crowd tonight. Oh, yeah. We've been missing it. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Almost as busy as Costco. (laughs) <laughs> and yes, we discussed that earlier. Uh, also, bring the kids, bring the family. You know, we like to make it known. Dublin Deck, a family establishment. Come for dinner, get a table, just hang out, play cornhole, whatever. Uh, it's going to be great. Before I get into a couple of topics we need to get into, um, remember yesterday I was telling people to stay off the local high school tennis courts. So, Oh, my goodness. All right, so <laughs> yesterday... We go out there. Leah had a very long day of tennis yesterday. I promise I'll get to the end of the story quick. She I played hope so. her camp in the morning and then she had a lesson in the afternoon. Then we picked up her friend and she played a full match against this friend at the high school courts later. Wow. That evening. Okay. Um sitting there getting ready for the match. And who pulls up? Barbecue Tom pulls up. Oh, we haven't seen or heard from him. How's he doing? He is great. It was nice to get a hug in. He uh, was there on site. uh, Bringing one of his kids had a uh, a meeting for a travel team, or you know, there was another sport going on. He had to uh, bring his child for that. So he comes over. He was telling me a couple things. First, he heard us talking about me telling people to stay off the uh, tennis courts. Yeah, I don't think he appreciated (laughs) that either. Nobody appreciates that. (laughs) And and by the way, side note, uh, Tennis Nick called me out on that and said, hey, you got to relax on the hackers out there. The the low. (laughs) They're they're going to serve one right in your head. That's right. Um I was I was half kidding, Candy. Half kidding. No, no. There's always a little truth in kidding. Oh, let's face it. Without a doubt, I'm, this is not a full retraction. I, I was fifty fifty on it, no doubt. Um, and then uh, he told me that he was down on vacation in South Carolina when the hurricane rolled oh, through. Oh, how did that? How did he? How did they all fare? He f- fine. He said, but they literally got one day in of sunshine. And then the rains came. It was oh, crazy. Oh, that is so sad when you plan all year for your one week away and it rains the whole week. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Barbecue Tom. Well, they ended up having fun. They had some friends oh, down there and have stuff. Fun, whatever you do, but yeah, you know, you like nice weather when you're going away. Yeah, uh, but anyway, that was so. It was a uh, a big uh, action packed evening yesterday. Um, I got an email the other day. The most beautiful invitation I've ever received, Candy. Oh, really? Ever? It was for a second birthday party for your granddaughter, Maeve. Yes, my sweet Maeve, with Sesame Street as the theme this year. I saw that. Did you notice all the characters from Sesame Street? Hard not to notice, yes. (laughs) (laughs) And um, I was honored to get the invite, and... We have talked about this before this conversation. You and I have discussed the fact that um, your son and his wife and your beautiful granddaughter, uh, they live quite a ways away from me. And due to the distance, I don't know if I'm going to get out there. Well, for we the knew that. But I said, you know, Jackie asked me, you know, is there anybody you want me to send an invite to that I may have forgotten? And I said, send one to Fathead. He won't be able to come. He lives very far away, but he'll get a kick out of it. And you did. And we I do did. consider you one of our people. You love uh, Maeve, and, and you're one of our people. I appreciate that. And it was an honor, and it was wonderful. And I, you know, on the Evite, you can click yes or no for attendance, but I wanted a maybe button because I'm a maybe. You never know. We'll see what 
you walk happens. in, it's going to be quite something. <laughs> That'll be the scene, man, for sure. Uh, but it was cute. Very cute invitation. Very cute. Two already. Hard to believe, right? I, I, I of course, just, the party yeah. was at 1030 in the morning, which is also something. <laughs> yeah, let me you ask you. Get up at the crack of dawn. Let me ask you about the 1030 in the morning. I, I don't have an answer for you, please, but go ahead, ask. So it's after breakfast, but before lunch, what kind of food is being served don't here? Don't know yet. I don't know. I'm gingerly going to start asking what's happening there. But yeah, 1030 a.m. I feel like there could be chips and fruit and things to start and then pizza at noon. Is that possible? The party goes to 1230. I don't know what they're thinking. Oh. Okay? I gave so many parties back in the day that never <laughs> lasted two hours. Okay? Yeah. Even McDonald's. I did a few parties at McDonald's when the kids were toddlers. Yeah. Even those parties were three hours long. All right. Well, I'm going to have to talk to your son because 1030 to 1230 is a rough time. Evan is like, you've got to be kidding <laughs> me. Uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Well, as the... Uh, Planning continues. We'll see. Um, I have to look for a gift now. You know, I'm a great gift giver, as you yes. know. I, I uh, know only because of the gifts you've given other people. Well, and DJ Deuce would dispute that I'm a great gift giver because I still owe him for his wedding, by the you way. You owe me oh, for his <laughs> wedding. Oh, that's shameful. Yeah. That, that is, is shameful. shameful. That is shameful. Wow. Uh, yes, uh, but... Um, I, I will look. I'm a great gift giver when it comes to kids, though, and when it comes to your granddaughter, I will. You've done good. Yeah, spend hours and hours and hours uh, looking. It's fun. So, and you yeah. don't have a youngster that age around you that you know you can enjoy those little things. Agreed. Uh, on to this one: an NFL quarterback, Will Levis of the Tennessee Titans, has developed Will Levis Number no. Eight fragrance based on the smell of Hellman's mayonnaise. No, thank you, but you should be in love. Yeah, um, I love Every mayo. Every time I use mayonnaise, I think of you. Thank you. Every time I use mayonnaise, I think of myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, the truth is, every time I use mayo, I think, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I think of our conversation where you make fun of me for buying mayo in bulk at BJ's. Listen, I saw the large, and I do mean large, mayonnaise at Costco yesterday, the almonds, and I thought of you there, too. Wow, Thank you. that's a lot of mayonnaise. Um, I don't think I want to uh, put the smell of mayonnaise no, on me. I can absolutely say no. But Will Levis last year, last summer, he went viral for squeezing Hellman's into his coffee. And now he is teamed up with some fragrance company, and there's legitimately a Will Levis number no. eight mayo fragrance that is coming out. So I'm you know. Sorry, I will say Martha Stewart gave me a tip personally. You know we hang out all the time. Uh huh. Uh, when you're making grilled cheese, don't use butter. Use mayonnaise on the bread. Yes, Fantastic. I heard that. Yes, yeah, the best. Oh man, like we need Gotta more fat. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, what's fatter? Butter or mayonnaise? I would think mayo, but I don't know. I May don't know. Maybe it is butter. Uh, candy, someone turned a leaky fire hydrant in bed Brooklyn into a goldfish pond. Wow. Okay, if you haven't seen it, let me give you the visual, and then you can look it up later. Imagine a sidewalk in Brooklyn, and one whole square of concrete is is not there it's it's lifted up it's gone i don't know where it is but it's gone and now that part of the sidewalk near a fire hydrant sinks down about you know three to four inches okay yes you, you, you got the visual Good. i got the visual now the fire hydrant is leaking right into this open square so it was filled with water for a long time so somebody went to a fish store bought a hundred goldfish, Whoa. put them in there, and now people are calling it the bed Aquarium. That's very funny. And I don't think it's going to last long, and I fear for the goldfish. So this is part of the issue. People are stopping by from far and wide to see the goldfish pond that has been created. Workers have gone to shut off the fire hydrant 
multiple times, but people keep turning it back on to <laughs> save the fish. And local neighbors feed the fish a couple times a day. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're feeding the fish. Kids around the neighborhood, they come up, they look at it, whatever. Now, there is the problem with the weather as it's going to get colder, as you know. Yeah. Um, some of the fish have recently disappeared because people are coming along for pets. They're, ma- they're taking bowls and filling them up and taking some of the fish as pets for themselves. It's not going to end well, I'm telling you right now. Someone started a GoFundMe hoping to raise enough money to make it a permanent tourist attraction. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. And we haven't even talked about birds, dogs, rats, cats. They're, you know, they, these fish are not going to last. No. No. It's not going to end well. Period. <laughs> no, end no, of conversation. Not. I feel for them. But this is what's going on in bed Well, they're entertaining themselves, so for that... It's good. I think the best we can hope for is all the fish go to uh, people's houses and some kids have some pet goldfish for as long as they last. That's my... I'll never forget we had a goldfish we won at a carnival, right? We all have mm. done that. Mm-hmm. And we loved him. You know, It was like our first little pet. And I get up one morning really early to go to work and poor thing is dead. Yeah, no. I yeah. Said, what should I do? I said... <laughs> oh my me. God, bless oh my you. Goodness. I said, I'm going to leave it right there dead for somebody else to discover. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, I've done I that. Feel, I still feel a little bad about it. We've had some fish in this house. We don't have a tank anymore, but uh, some more. I've woken up to a dead fish and I've left it there for someone else to find. <laughs> um, you know, when I was a kid, I got two goldfish. And I named them Crockett and Tubbs because I was a big Miami Vice right, fan. Right, got it. it. Of course, I was probably about eight, nine, ten years old. And uh, yeah, that they, they 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 died. I, you know, they died. My parents probably replaced them, and they kept dying. And then that was it for the goldfish. Yeah. Yeah, it's never mm. a good thing. Um, no. Fun while it lasts, but it doesn't last all that long. But I, I'm I'm laughing because we both saw the dead fish and said, "Let somebody else discover that." I agree. Yes, I did. And uh, Candy, coming up less than 20 minutes, you're bald in the beautiful entertainment. National Day's good news stories. We'll uh, get to that in the late 8 o'clock hour. Gorgeous day, gorgeous night tonight. Dublin Deck with AARP. They're going to be giving away gift certificates. We've got concert tickets. Southbound's there. DJ Salty Jim. Bring the family. 5 o'clock dinner. We're there 7 to 9. It lasts all night. Let's hit the roads. My country. 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.